Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best winter boots of 2023 in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 8. Sorrel Caribou Boot You want a snow boot with an impervious rubber base that also lets you out of slushy, snowy muck. This boot is great for warmer winters that go through a lot of freeze and thaw cycles. Why it's great? The Sorrel Caribou, which comes in men's and women's sizes, feels impenetrable. When we tested it against eight other options, it fit better and felt warmer, and its wide base and nubby rubber kept our feet steady on different winter surfaces. The rubber sole lifts you almost an inch and a half above the ground, which keeps feet warm and dry by physically removing you from the slush. The tongue is gusseted, sewn to the sides of the boot, all the way to the top of the snow collar, a rarity, not even the kamek is sewn this high. The shaft lace is high and tight, and the caribou has its own sort of speed lacing, composed of four sets of fat, exterior D-rings that allow laces to slide with little friction. This will help you get the boot on and off your foot with less effort. Finally, the snow collar prevents flakes from entering. The boot has three features that provide traction similar to the Kamek Nation Plus, a wide surface area underfoot, a nubby lug pattern that grabs onto chunky ice, and a proper fit. Though the sole can feel clunky, the boot still fits well. Several other boots we tried didn't. Either the heel lifted or the ankle had no support, and both of those issues can cause a foot to slide while you're walking on snow. Like the Kamek, the Caribus are rated to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit slash minus 40 degrees Celsius, and testers reported warm feet while wearing them. The liner is synthetic, but you can get a version of the boot with a wool liner, which doesn't trap odor the way synthetic materials can. Number 7. Kamek Nation Plus You need something that will keep your feet warm and dry during light outdoor activity in the snow, like shoveling the driveway or walking from the car to the office. The Kamek Nation Plus slightly outperforms all the other boot options, without resorting to anything showy. It has above-average traction on a variety of winter surfaces, and it's warm, waterproof, and built to keep snow out. The Nation Plus has three advantages that give it better-than-average traction. A nubby tread pattern that grips chunky ice, a wide base that provides support on smooth surfaces, and a comfortable fit that keeps the ankle stable on fresh snow. The speed lacing system, a feature borrowed from the realm of hiking boots, helps with that. It can lace tighter than traditional D-rings. Neither the Bath in Canada nor the LL Bean snow boots nor the Lacrosse Outpost did a fit, as well as the Nation Plus. These boots are rated to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit slash minus 40 degrees Celsius, which through testing we found provided ideal warmth for casual activity. Not too hot, not too cold. Advertised temperature ratings are a guess, not gospel. They don't account for the activity you're doing for how long you're doing it, or for your individual metabolism. But our testers' subjective opinions, out in the cold they went, with no idea how warm the boots were, consistently aligned with the ratings. The 4040th mark was perceived by all as comfortably warm. Great snow boot is not only waterproof around the base, but will lace up tall over your pants to keep water and snow out. With a shaft height of 11 and a half inches, the Kamek will cover more of your pant leg than the North Face Chilkat II which is much shorter. The interior liner is also removable, which can help the interior dry faster. Number 6. Baffin Impact The Baffin Impact is a huge heavy boot with extreme warmth. We cannot imagine ever having cold feet in these boots. They have a removable synthetic liner for insulation and a thin layer of fixed insulation on the inside of the shell. The sole is thick, and the footbed has a honeycomb pattern to add height and trap warm air beneath the foot. Every aspect of this boot provides warmth and is the warmest winter boot we have tested. However, the same features that provide so much warmth make the impact unsuitable for use by anyone who doesn't spend a lot of time standing around in below zero temperatures. This boot is thick, bulky, and extremely heavy, making it a chore to walk in for short distances. It has so much insulation that it makes our feet float when walking through a creek to check for water resistance. In the same creek, we immediately noticed that the seams were not waterproof as the liquid poured inside. These boots will keep your feet warm, period. But beyond that, they aren't super versatile. Number 5. Uggy Butt The Uggy Butt is a stylish leather winter boot with wool insulation that feels great against the feet. Comfort is a priority. The boot is light and doesn't feel as bulky and cumbersome as heavier pack boots. 
The leather exterior looks great, and the cuff can be rolled down to show off the wool lining or kept up for an all-leather look. The lower section of the boot is completely waterproof, meaning the boot can stomp through puddles and shallow snowdrifts without getting wet. The lightweight nature of the butt means it isn't as warm as others, but it is still warm enough for winter days in most places. And although water begins to seep into the boot at a submersion depth of 6.5 inches, we rarely found puddles that deep in real life. Overall, these boots perform well and will be suitable for most users, and the style is some of the best on the market. Only users with specific extreme cold or water resistance needs will need to look elsewhere. Number 4. Morel Thermo Chill Mid The Morel Thermo Chill Mid is a winter hiking boot that performs well enough to be used in most winter climates as an all-around winter boot. It is affordable, earning our nod for the best winter hiking boot. It is supremely comfortable, thanks to a great footbed and cozy insulation, and also packs enough warmth and weather resistance for most days of the winter. Light and easy to wear, the low price tag is delightful considering the performance this boot delivers. Still, the thermo chill isn't tall enough or warm enough for some winter snowstorms or submersion in deep water. They are made for hiking and do this well, but they won't be useful for those who need to trudge through deep snow to chop wood or shovel the driveway. And we have concerns about the fabric eyelets that seem likely to break over time from cinching the laces down tight. But for winter hikers and others in temperate climates who want a good boot on a tight budget, these are what we recommend. Number 3. Muck Boot Arctic Sport Mid The Muck Boot Arctic Sport Mid is a convenient slip-on work boot that provides a great fit plenty of weather protection, and good durability, making it the best boot for working outdoors and doing quick chores. It easily slides on and off and has enough warmth and weather resistance to use for quick tasks without socks, making it very convenient for winter housework, like chopping wood and shoveling. And when paired with thick socks, this boot is well-fitting and warm enough to use for all-day outdoor work. A thick rubber shell ensures a long lifespan. These boots can take a beating. Slip-on work boots are the most convenient boots in our review, but this convenience also prevents them from achieving a perfect fit. Indeed, the Arctic Sport Mid feels a bit loose and sloppy, but it best fits this subcategory. Thick socks help take up some of this room. These also aren't as warm as packed boots, so users might want to look elsewhere for seriously cold winter climates if they will be spending hours in below freezing temperatures regularly. But if you want a convenient slip-on boot for odd jobs and chores that will also be adequate for the occasional long and cold outdoor workday, these are a great choice. Number 2. Columbia Bookaboot II The Columbia Bookaboot II is a high-performance winter boot that excels in most applications and comes for an affordable price. It packs tons of warmth and comfort into a lightweight package and has enough traction and weather resistance for most winter users. These boots are among the most comfortable we have ever tested with soft fleece-lined insulation that bolds to your feet over time. Putting these boots on is a dream. We have some doubts about the long-term durability of this product due to tailoring discrepancies. We had no issues, and the boots showed no signs of wear during our test period. We don't love the style of these boots either, but their great performance is enough for us to forgive their clunky looks. These are the best option if you need a solid boot for harsh winter weather and are shopping on a budget. Number 1. The North Face Chilkit V400 the North Face Chilkit V400 took us by surprise with its excellent warmth and comfort, earning our top honor for winter boots. It has tons of synthetic insulation with a comfortable lining, which creates an environment of luxury. The boot is very light, making it comfortable to walk long distances, and the excellent tread pattern ensures good grip on both paved and rough surfaces, dry or slick. It also has plenty of weather resistance for stormy weather and enough durability to last a long time. The Tom meets the boot at a lower height than other burly winter boots on the market, meaning that you won't be able to submerge these in the deepest waterways. But bearing that flaw, these boots are excellent and relatively affordable compared to other similar options. In short, the chill can outperforms the rest, and for most winter users who have to deal with snowy and cold weather, these are the boots we recommend.